All right, what's up, peeps? So last weekend we got the M50 completely in the 318. We have the shifter hooked up, and we have the engine ground hooked up, and nothing else. So today we're gonna start putting components on to get this thing up and running, and I'm probably gonna start with the power steering system. Went to a pick apart yesterday and picked up some power steering lines. So these are off of a 97. 328i one of them is exactly the same and another one's a completely different part number so we're gonna have to try and figure something out for that and then i have all the lines off of the m42 that we pulled off so i think the combination of those two i can make something work we have the power steering pump here and of course it's freaking nasty and these lines are soaking wet too which is pretty freaking nice so we're gonna have to clean those up aside from that danny's coming over and he's bringing some suspension stuff so he bought sway bar end links and he bought some sway bar mounts so he's gonna bring those over we're gonna get the 325i bar on today and i think i'm gonna start running the wiring harness and then we'll probably we may or may not put the front end completely back on i want to do the power steering stuff with the front end off and the sway bar with the front end off and make it a little bit easier but step number one is going to be cleaning all of this junk all right, so I wiped everything down. It's not as good as it could be, but it's way better than it was. I'm 100% sure this pump leaks because this thing is freaking nasty. The right thing to do would be to pull the entire pump apart, clean it, and regasket the whole thing. I'm not gonna do that right now because I'm lazy. I also need to do that on the pump in this car, and I think the pump on the bucket needs that too, so. Bing bada boom baby, front end off, no tools, nothing. Let's get that dusty ass pump mounted. All right, the pump is on. It's genuinely gross, but it's on. So now we just gotta figure out how lines do things. We should start with this boy. Oh, okay, so that one goes to the rack. This one goes to the res, which is gonna be there. So that one goes around, boom, up to the rack. Okay, so if it's anything like this setup, that kind of makes sense now. So then this fitting is gonna go up, boom, down to the rack, which would be that line. And then the one down here goes up to the reservoir. Pretty sure that's how it's routed. So that does kind of mimic that style. And then I have this big boy. Ooh, I don't know if that's long enough. And it is. It's just a little bent. You might have to flip that around. How about we flip that fitting? Yeah, that's gonna kind of be weird. I think if we lock it down like that, I should be able to get to it though. If I start going too hard with it, that line will bend. We can always clock the uh, the power steering reservoir a little bit differently. That probably wouldn't be a bad idea. All right, send it like that. So this bracket's in the way of that line, so we're gonna have to put some bracket be gone on that. That's the original bracket that holds the power steering reservoir, so. We're not really going to be needing that anymore, which is a good thing. All right, so I got the last line ran. It's not very happy the way it sits. It's kind of sitting a little bit too far kind of that way. So the alternator is gonna sit right here, so I think that might be in the way. So I'm probably gonna take this and try and bend that little hose. Just bend it a little bit. I'm not gonna bend it too much because it might start having issues. Aside from that, it's pretty good. So this hose and this hose are not supposed to be used on M50s. So this is a 97, this is an M52 hose. And that's an M42 hose, so this is a little bit of a budget one. I didn't have any um, M50 cars when I was at the junkyard, so this is about the best that I got right now. So that, pretty sure that's routed correctly. 
Uh, we'll find out when we try and bleed it, or if it doesn't fucking work, or if something explodes. Everything is nice and tight. I do still need to get the reservoir, so I'm gonna need to kind of cut that. If I start to like bend that too much, the hose kind of starts to kink. So I'm gonna have to be careful setting that up to get it to where I need it to be. But aside from that, everything's going together pretty nicely, I think. I don't know. I'm not sure, this could be completely wrong and I would have no idea. So I know that this hose may look backwards to some of you guys, and it is. 328s use a different power steering pump that kind of mounts a little bit differently. So I can't get it to run that way. That's how it'll be sometimes, man. Did you bring bushings and stuff? Mm -hmm. Oh, you brought hoses too? Mm -hmm. Fuck yeah. I brought gifts for the Cheeto. Huh? Some of the hoses are like not fitting properly because I bought like not the right hoses, but I'm just making it work. <laughs> That's pretty sick. Ooh. We might be able to do something with that. It's an M M20? Yeah, so the hose that runs on the bottom of the frame rail is like the exact same for both cars. This hose is like... For the, the M42? Yeah, no, it's the same between the M52s and the M50s. It's different than the M42. This hose here, the M52 has seven different power steering pumps, so it's like routed weird, so it gets like super close right there to the alternator. So I'm gonna have to bend that. But this hose right here, this hose goes from the M42 power steering pump to the reservoir, and I just like flipped it around. It should work. And this is for the M50, right? Yeah, it's an M50 pump. It's a little Frankenstein power steering setup. <laughs> it's gonna be sick. This way? Yeah, I'm just gonna bend it a little bit out so it doesn't, so it clears the alternator. But I think it should work, and I'm pretty sure I got it routed right. If not, it's probably gonna explode, and we'll find out. <laughs> I got the reservoir all nice and clean, though. Yeah. Oh, those are nice. Right there. <laughs> oh, they did give me a part. <laughs> Oh, did it? It's an E46? <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. I got an old 911 one. There, like, you can't even move them with your hand. <laughs> oh, yes, you can, but not like very easily. Oh, this no, one I, didn't, I didn't move it at all. Oh, it looked like you did? <sighs> no. Yeah, this looks like yeah, stiff, bro. That's gonna be nice, dude. Oh, yeah. I wanna put a little bit of grease on there to make it go on nicer. Should I put it on the rubber or put it on that? Yeah, put it on that. It's gonna need to be cut. They use the same fucking hardware. Everywhere. Everywhere. It's magical. Fucking strong arm it. <clears throat> All right, that's what I'm talking about. Bent to shape, bro. I'm very happy with that. Everything should be tight. I kind of think we just don't even plug that in, and then if we have issues, then we'll deal with that shit later. Do you want to take the blower motor out? Yeah, I'm down. So I got this nut. That's a little longer. What? For that link? This is, yeah, this is for the one, to the chassis. Where's the old one? I don't know, I don't remember. <laughs> uh, yeah, it works. <laughs> Damn, this is dusty, dude. <laughs> wipe it down. Comes out, sure. Does this come down? Hmm. Ah. 
can get the links in? Probably. Yeah. You could pivot it. That's what I was gonna do. You might have to loosen it. Should be a man about it. There's no way to put this on backwards, is there? No. That's not possible. That's on the way it should be. I just can't get this bolt in this link. So Alex showed up. This right here. Gone. Gone? Gone. I'm trying to shave your fucking head right now. Fuck it, bro. Turn around, turn around. Let me see, let me see. 22 and you're balding, bro. That's not. Ladies? That's not. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? I cannot get this bolt through this hole. I know the feeling, bro. And you always gotta start right in the middle. Of course, bro. Cause now they can't go back. No. Nope. You can go old grandpa style, though. Just <laughs> yeah, the ball right? and then the hair on the sides, bro. <laughs> I've always wanted to do that. That was fucking weird, bro. Be hilarious. This is feels gnarly. <laughs> you ever shaved your head before? No. Dude, I shaved my head like at least once a year. Really? I shaved it twice last year. Yeah, I came into <laughs> class with a bald ass head. I was like, what the fuck? Like, I got a ball in here. Yeah. Hey, help me out with this, bro. <laughs> I look so fucking weird. <laughs> Tight, bro. I did it. <laughs> Come on, bro. Don't be leaving me like that. <laughs> <laughs> bro, just, just, just head off the top, bro. Oh, it's nice still, bro. Be like, bro, bro leave. He, he's up off the top. Hit the sides a little bit. Nah, bro. <laughs> bro that's so weird. <laughs> Oh, that feels so weird, bro. Feeling the top of your head, your hair's not there. Bro, bro, look at this. Oh. Oh. What happened? I'm sweating my hands out, bro. Oh, my beard didn't start to thicken up until I started working out and getting all that testosterone flowing. Yeah. Feels so weird, dude. Like, feel like, just feeling my scalp. Like, I've never felt this close, you know? That's a weird feeling. Now you gotta go do a razor. Yeah, That's what I usually do. Yeah. Alright. So we're gonna pull that blower motor out and pull the housing out because we're not gonna use it because we're not running a heater or an AC because windows work. So as soon as we get all that real estate open and free for a little bit of weight reduction Z's, then we can throw the harness on and start running that boy. <laughs> Drive shaft? Alright. Well we gotta jack up the back. No. Nice. Take this whole blower assembly out. That's what I'm saying. Just take as much shit out of there as you can. Once we put that harness in that rear cowl, that everything there is going to be a pain in the ass to get to. So we can just rip it all out. Well, we have the real estate. It's you know free I mean? real estate. It's free real estate. It's free real estate. There we go. It looks like Ish. it might be connected. Oh, yeah. there it is. There's no wrong answers when you're building a drift car game. <laughs> that is the most correct answer I've ever seen, Danny. I love it. Look at that form. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's another chunk! There's another chunk! <laughs> yeah, that's the cabin on the E36s. That's how deep it is. <laughs> See? Doesn't make you feel better? All the spider webs and shit and dirt is out getting out of there for sure. But it does that. Perfect. Which is a good start. That is a good sign. Alright, so we lost the hardware for the drive shaft, but we found it, which is ace. So the drive shaft's all ready to go in, so that's about to happen. Told Danny to pull the blower motor out and he kinda yeeted everything else in there. He Went just, on the rampage. just took a hammer and started smashing shit. <laughs> so we have a little shaft 
is a little dirty rusty but this is the flex disc off of the old trans so we're gonna be reusing that and the rest of it should be pretty fun I think we're gonna have to put the shaft on both ends before we tighten everything down just to sort of break that thing loose yeah. you know what I'm saying I think it's because we have a small case of diff All right, so we can't put the drive shaft in right now. Let me get those two lined up. That difference is not letting us put this drive shaft in. So I want to say it's because the 318s have a small case diff. I'm not sure about that, but the differential is definitely not even the one that we want to run in the first place. I want to say it's a small case. And I think these cars use medium case diffs for the six cylinders. So I think we're going to end up just swapping to an LSD and finding a nice diff for that. So we're not freaking running 4.4s and then we'll put the drive shaft on after that so that's kind of a scrap for putting the shaft on but we can start running the wiring harness now which i think we're gonna do so i think we're gonna start getting all that stuff dialed in and start connecting sensors i do still need to get the knock sensors but we can get the vanos plugged in we can get the cam and crank position we can probably even get the alternator on and run the starter wire so there's still a bunch of stuff that we can do so let's go grab the spaghetti monster All right, it's on. Plug it in. <laughs> See you next time. Maybe you should take it slow. <laughs> <laughs> this stuff goes over here. Those also go over there. That goes somewhere over there. Where are we going to put this now? I don't know. Where's it supposed to go? So if you want to start plugging shit over here, this ground goes right there. These guys go there and somewhere else, respectively. I'm guessing the big one goes to the big bolt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just, yeah. I'm guessing this goes... It goes uh, over by the crank. There's a little hole in the timing cover. And that's it. Well, you need a bolt for it, but yeah. <clears throat> Alright, so we're going to call it for today, start wrapping it up. It was hot today, so everyone's like super tired. But we know what we need to do as far as drive shaft stuff. We gotta get a diff. So that's the plan. So we're not gonna be throwing a drive shaft in for a little while. We got the power steering system completely done. It's just not bled, which is sick progress. Cause Daniel got the sway bar on. And then we got the harness in. A lot of stuff isn't hooked up. We still need a lot of things for that. We gotta get some knock sensors primarily. Once I plug in the knock sensors, then I can completely tie this harness down and bolt it down and get everything sorted for that. And then there's still a few sensors. I need to get an O-ring for the cam position sensor because that doesn't have an O-ring on it. We got the body harness all done. Danny's got the positive terminal stuck in on that. I still, we still need to put the 413 DME in. It's sitting over there and wire up the starter. I got to figure out some of these wires I believe are for the starter. Just wanted to double check some of the wiring on that. Making mad progress today, boys. And we're back to looking like a normal ass car. So that's another step in the direction of getting this thing up and running. I will see you guys the next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep it fresh and I'll see you guys later.